Welcome back to Mode Bespoke, I'm Atenas. As you can see, today I've got my collection of Tunisian hooks out for everyone to see. Um, it is quite an extensive collection, I think, uh, but I get a lot of questions about Tunisian hooks. So if you've been following my channel for the past year, year and a half or so, you probably know that I'm a little obsessed with Tunisian crochet. And this year we're going to be creating a lot of new projects also using Tunisian crochet. So you're going to see a lot of these hooks in a lot of my videos, um, specifically for sweaters and other garment patterns, because I've received a lot of requests for those types of patterns. So going into this next year and just on with the channel, we're going to be working on a lot of these requested patterns. So I thought it would be a good time to just take a moment to go over all of the different Tunisian hooks that you're going to be seeing here on the channel. So here is the collection and we're going to go over just hook by hook and I can explain to you what each hook is used for, as well as answer all of the questions that you guys have submitted in the past few months as well as in response to the post I put up, what was it, like two or three days ago maybe, on Instagram and here on YouTube, just asking you about uh, just what questions you had about hooks. So we'll be answering those questions, I'll be covering all the different styles of hooks and what they're used for, so let me just clear this up, stick around, and we'll get started. Okay, let's get started with our first hook, and this is just a regular Tunisian hook. Now hooks like these, uh, this one's aluminum, I think it's like Susan Bates, but these hooks you can find just about anywhere. You can find them at Michael's, Walmart, Joann's, just about any store that sells yarn here in the US. As you can see, they are quite long, um, and they have this little stopper at the end, kind of like a knitting needle. Um, but these are, like I said, available just about anywhere, and they come in, you can find, find them in aluminum, you can find them in wood, bamboo, plastic, you can find them in lots of different types of materials. This is, I think the one and only Tunisian hook I have like this. This was my very first Tunisian hook. Um, and I ended up getting this from someone. I didn't purchase this myself, but this is what I got started with. And I'm not a very big fan. So if you're new to crochet, uh, or at least new to Tunisian crochet, and this is the only thing you can find, it's a good hook. You can use it. Eventually you're going to want to move on to a different type of hook, which I will show you here in just a moment. But this one is just really long. It's really stiff. And I tended to hit it on everything. So if I was sitting on the couch or just sitting anywhere that was a little bit of a smaller space and I didn't have too much space on the right side because <laughs> I normally crochet with my right hand. So I would tend to hit this on different things. Um, so I didn't really like this hook. So that's why I only have one of these hooks and it is very, very rarely used. The hooks I do use, which I'm gonna move on here to the next category, are my corded hooks. Now these are my favorite type of Tunisian hook and I have several different types. Let me zoom out here real quick and I'll show them to you. So I've got the short cord, I've got the really long afghan cord, and then I've got these really giant hooks. So, oh, and the last one, which is also corded, and it, but it kind of straddles two categories are these. We'll talk about these in a minute. So these are my favorite style of uh, Tunisian crochet hooks. These are bamboo, so they're, I find that they're really soft and really easy on my hands because when I use the aluminum hooks, these tend to hurt my joints a little bit more when I'm working. I'm not entirely sure why, but I find that that happens to me a lot with um, the plastic hooks and these aluminum hooks. Now with these bamboo hooks, I don't have the same problem. So I can crochet for extended periods of time and I find that my joints don't really hurt. So let me know if that happens to you. I I don't know a whole lot of crocheters personally, so I don't have a lot of people to ask around me, but let me know if it happens to you. Now let's talk about the different links in hooks. Now, um, first of all, all three of these sets are Knit Pal hooks. So they're from this company right here, Knit Pal. You can find them on Amazon. And these hooks, I like them for several different reasons. You can get them in different sizes, and I'm talking about the hook size. So you can get a set like this one, which is just kind of a very basic set. It's got up to a nine millimeter hook. And I think it begins, I wanna say it's like a three, no, maybe it's four. Oh, here, 375. So it's 375 to about nine millimeters. Um, so it comes with several hooks and you can get the cord in different lengths. So this is the shortest length they have, and this is a 16 inch. It's very, very comfortable. It's great for using um, for smaller projects such as scarves or hats that you're gonna crochet in the flat, like a flat fabric that you then sew together. And just small general flat projects, this is a good set to go with. So anything larger, so if you're gonna make a really large sweater, so anything maybe about an adult 
large to extra large or anything like that, you might want to get slightly bigger, a bigger cord so that you can use different um, yarn weights. So if you're using, if you tend to use really small yarn weights like fingering yarn, sport yarn, or a DK yarn, this side should be fine. If you like to use worsted yarns, medium weight, or any of the thicker yarns, then you may want to get a longer cord size. I think the biggest project I was able to crochet with these was a baby blanket, and that was just your traditional 30 inch, um, like in width blanket. So, and these worked just fine. Now for larger projects, so if you want to do a shawl, like a triangle shawl, just a bigger, a much wider scarf, or you want to crochet a large blanket, whether it's like a twin all the way to a king, you're really going to want to get some afghan hooks. Now afghan hooks are the same, it's, it's, it's pretty similar to these. The only difference is that the cord is longer. So for an afghan hook, you've got a 40 inch or longer cord. These are 40 inches and I can crochet a huge blanket with this. So if you are a big blanket crocheter, this is the size to go with. They do get a little uncomfortable if you're going to be working smaller projects like a sweater. So any of the sweaters I've made, I do tend to use these with a smaller cord, but the 40 inch is great for blankets and large projects. Um, so you can also get these, I think, let's see, in like 56 inches, I think she's got these. Uh, but check out the shop. She's got the different lengths in cord. So either the 16th or the 40th have been pretty good. If you just can't decide whether you want to do blankets or whether you want to do like a slightly smaller project, then go with the middle size. I think she's got like, it's either 32 or 36 inches. Go with the middle size. It's a lot more versatile. So that way you only have to get one set. Um, the last set are these really large ones. Now these, I have looked for hooks like these for months. I had a really, really hard time trying to find a large hook. So what I was looking for was a 20 millimeter hook because I wanted to crochet a chunky blanket. I could not find that for the life of me. I ended up finding a hook. I think it was somewhere in Australia, but it was, I think the hook itself was maybe like $20 and I was afraid to look at the shipping. <laughs> it was shipping from Australia. So at that time I wasn't able to purchase it, but then later I found these Knit Pal hooks, which are very affordable. You can get them on Amazon. I have um, Amazon Prime, so I didn't have to worry about shipping. And you can also ch uh, choose what cord length you want. So I think these ones are the, the one that's in the 30s. Like I said, I can't remember if it's 32 or 36 inches, but this is that 30 something inch cord. Um, these come in a set of three. So you get the 15 millimeter, the 25 millimeter, and a 20 millimeter. So now you don't have to struggle to find these. Here they are, they have them on Amazon. They're great hooks. Um, I'm going to be working on a few blanket projects with these later on in the year. So go check these out if you like to do the big old puffy blankets or like the big thick scarves. This is the way to go. All right, now I'm going to go into that kind of middle category before we start talking about our double-ended hooks. But here is a corded double-ended hook. Um, so these are the circular hooks. At least that's how you're going to see them listed. Again, these are also knit pal hooks. What you're gonna find is that all of my, um, most of my Tunisian hooks that are bamboo are all knit pal. Um, but these are also knit pal hooks. This is the set. I don't know if she's got a larger set. This is the only set she had for a while. Um, but these come with, I think the smallest hook is a two millimeter hook. So it's two to 2.5. And the cord is the same length for all of them. So it's fairly lengthy cord. These are really good for experienced crocheters. So if you're just looking for a very versatile hook that you can do circular projects with, so whether it's a hat, socks, if you wanna work a sweater in the round, this is a good hook to get. The only issue I had is I put a lot of pressure on my cord, so I ended up breaking it, but I just taped it and then I, put, I took a lighter to it, as you can see, and uh, I was able to fix it just fine. So, but, that was the only thing that happened, but that was my fault. I pushed a little too hard on my cord. <laughs> so, um, otherwise, these hooks have been great. This is going to lead us to the next category of hooks, which are the double-ended hooks, so like these. But I'll talk a little bit more about these here in just a moment when we talk about socks. So, the next category is this. This is the double-ended hook. So, this is the first double-ended hook I bought. I got this at a local yarn store. Um, the only issue I found with these is 
the plastic. I'm not a big fan of using plastic hooks, but I broke one of my last hooks. So I bought a few of these and I ended up breaking the top part of the hook. So I had to throw those away and I didn't really like that. That was really sad. I also don't like the feel of the plastic, but if you are new to crochet and this is the only thing that you have around, this is not a bad option. You just have to learn to work with these. I'm a little more used to working with the bamboo ones. So I think uh, it, it would have gone a little bit better if I would have adjusted a little quicker. But anyway, these are an these are a great choice if this is all you have available. If you have access to Amazon and you are happy purchasing stuff online, then I highly recommend these bamboo ones. They're a lot sturdier and they're just a lot easier to work with. They're more comfortable in your hands as well. Now these, again, another Knit Pal set, as you can see, it's on there. Here it is. So there it is. Um, but these come in different sets. So there are three sets available as far as the size of your hook, but there's also two different lengths of hook available. So there's a total of six sets on their, on their Amazon page. Now there's this larger set, which has hooks that are 6.5 millimeter to 12 millimeter. And then she has the sizes available for a 10 inch hook or a 14 inch hook. So you can choose what you like there. There's a, the middle set, which the middle set has the hooks from four millimeters to six millimeters and then it's the half sizes and then there is the smallest set of hooks and that one includes hooks that are two millimeter to 3.5 millimeter also all of these are all available in 10 inch or 14 inch so you can you can make your choice what you like best but all of these hooks are available on amazon the other double hooks that I have are these ones now these are not knit pal hooks these I had specially created by a gentleman out in Tennessee and his shop is called Nifty Cliffs. Now this is an Etsy shop um, and while these hooks all come in sets and lots of different sizes, these it, you just purchase them one hook at a time. He made these specifically for me because I had asked him for a short hook. So now if I grab one of these, let me sh show you. So here's a 10 inch hook. These are five inches. So they're very short hooks. And the reason that these are short is because I like to crochet socks. So for the socks, while you can crochet them with this longer hook, it's a little bit more comfortable to crochet them with a smaller hook because as you're working, your sock isn't too wide, especially since you're working in the round. It's not a very wide fabric. So having a shorter hook makes it a lot easier to just cast on all along this hook and you don't have to move your fabric over and over along or across, I should say, a wider hook. It's just you move them over a little bit and you're there. Turn your hook around and you get your return pass ready. So these are really, really comfortable. Um, he does have several sizes available. So this is the smallest hook he makes. This is a four millimeter hook and these are wood. So this is just wood that he has in um, on his farm and they're handcrafted. So they do take a little bit longer to arrive because he makes them for you when you order them and he uses different types of wood. So you get these really beautiful different colored hooks. Um, but he has them in different sizes. Like I said, they're all about five inches. Sometimes they're a little bit longer, but they're all about the five inch mark. So these are the ones that I typically use for socks and for smaller projects. Um, that brings us back to these hooks. Now, because these wooden hooks only go to a four millimeter hook, if you want to crochet an everyday type of sock and you have a little more experience and you really want a larger hook collection, then these hooks might be the way to go. It's got a smaller hook, which is a two millimeter hook. So it's got two, two and a half, three and so forth. So these hooks are a good option. However, you will have to move your fabric from this hook all the way across the cord to this hook. So these hooks are a lot better for things like some sweaters or socks. That'd be great if you're gonna be making a lot of baby sweaters. Um, if however, you are looking for a budget friendly set, I guess that is really, really versatile, then I highly recommend these types of hooks. You can use them for a variety of projects. They are available in a wider variety of sizes than these circular hooks. So let's move on to some of the questions that you guys have asked. And the first one comes to us from Lint Ant Lint Antler, and this is a YouTube question. And she'd like to know, where do you get the double-ended hooks? So there are different, several different places you can get them at. Um, I haven't seen a lot of them at places like Walmart, but I know Joanne's got a few of them. If not, you can al also check your local yarn store or craft store. These ones I got at the local yarn store here in Sarasota, and um, they have several different sizes. 
The beauty of a local store is that you can always ask them and they can help you find the size that you need if they don't have it in stock. Um, my sock hooks, I got these from Etsy at a shop called Nifty Clips, so I'll link that below. Um, so these are all the short ones. I believe he also has the long hooks available, so if you'd like some of those, I believe he's got those there. And these, which are my KnitPal hooks, these come from Amazon. So KnitPal has their shop on Amazon. They have their own website, but I think it's mostly for yarn. Their hooks are available on Amazon, though. So that's where, you, well, that's where I normally get mine. Um, so those are those options. The next question we've got comes to us from our friend Nidy Melendez, and this is an Instagram uh, question, and she would like to know what size would be best for socks. Now, I answered that question a little bit on Instagram, but it was kind of a lot of text, so let's talk about it a little bit more here. Now, it just depends on what kind of sock you want to make. So these are the, so uh, the hooks I normally use for my socks. Like I said earlier in the video, they're shorter, so they're a lot more comfortable to work with. Um, so these are the ones I go with. These are the, the nifty clift ones. But you can also use the um, Nippel ones. They are a lot longer, as you can tell, so you're going to have to move your fabric from one side to the other of the hook. But you can use any of these. The one that I would recommend as far as size goes, I guess that really just depends on what type of sock you want. So if it's an everyday sock, so something thin, just kind of fingering, that you use a fingering or a sock yarn for, you're going to want a smaller hook. So a four millimeter, a three millimeter, or a two and a half size millimeter hook would be the best option. The Nifty Cliff ones only go as far as a four millimeter, so that's the smallest hook he sells. So if you would like to, if you know that you like to crochet socks, then I would maybe go with the Knit Pal set. So maybe get the 10 inch and then get the set that's the two to three and a half millimeter uh, in width. So I would go with that. The next question, also from our friend Nadia Melendez, and this is also an Instagram question, wants to know, what if a set is a bit rough and how to smooth it out? Um, you can just use a nail file. So if you have sandpaper, like when I was living with my parents, my dad's a contractor, so he has tons of sandpaper. I could have just used the sandpaper. However, most of us will have one of these lying around. If you order the set from a Knit Pal set, they come in this nice little velvet bag and they include a nail file in them. So I have found that that has been incredibly useful. Sometimes even as after using them for a while, it'll develop a bit of a splinter. So all I do is you grab your nail file, file it down, make sure that it's soft and you're ready to go. Now with that, we ended up getting two really awesome recommendations on Instagram from two different folks. So the first one we got is from your aunt too, and she recommends wax paper to keep them smooth. So you get a little bit of wax paper and you just smooth it on your hook. So you would just file it down, smooth it out, and you're good to go. The other option, which is a little, it requires a little bit more work, but if you are going to be crocheting with these hooks a lot and you want a smoother finish, our friend Lindsay Penny, also from Instagram, said that she uses a high gloss uh, fin wood finish and it's called Birchwood KC True Oil. Now, she goes through and she says that she files down or she sands her hooks so they're a little bit pointier. So if you don't like the point a little bit more rounded like these, you can just file it down, make it a little bit more pointy, and then give it that uh, wood finish. And you'd have um, hooks that won't splinter. So you'll be able to use them a lot longer. You won't have to file them down further on if you're going to be using these quite a bit. So thank you to both of you. Those are some awesome recommendations. I haven't given them a try just yet. I'm going to be trying that out here soon and I'll let you all know what happens. So let's move on to the next question. Out of um, one to 10, how much would you recommend buying a double-ended hook? And she has Tunisian corded ones. Is there a way to modify patterns of double-ended hooks to normal Tunisian hooks? So that is a great question. Thank you so much for asking. Um, there are some patterns that you can modify, but it really depends on your stitch. So if you're using a stitch like just a knit stitch, let's say we're making a, a the sleeve on a sweater, which you're going to see further on here in, in the channel once I start posting some of our sweater patterns. For a knit stitch pattern, you can use, well typically, you will be able to use a regular Tunisian hook to work a double sided pattern, only if you're not using two colors. So if it is a pattern that is using a double ended hook because it is casting on in one color and working a return pass in a second color, 
then no, you will need a double-sided hook. If you're just doing something that's in the round, then yes, obviously you're gonna have to do your fabric as a flat fabric and then sew it together. But some of the patterns, like the one that I've posted here, there's a picture up on the screen right now. This is one of the hat patterns that I created last year. And I made this for specifically for a double-sided hook. And that is because of the way the stitch comes out. So it it takes, this is a combination stitch. So I'm trying to explain, I'm trying to find a good way of explaining it, but it's a combination stitch that when you crochet in the round, it tilts the stitch a little bit and it gives the hat this look that you see here. If you were to do this with a regular Tunisian hook, you would not have this, this specific stitch that you see. So it would change the stitch, uh, depending on the stitch, I guess, it would be a dramatic change to it. So it just depends on the stitch and it depends on the pattern because some of them you cannot modify them. So some of them that have like a fair aisle pattern, you may not be able to modify that in such a way that your pattern would look the same. So you might be able to make some changes, but it's not going to look the way that it does, that at least the pattern creator intended it to. So it just really depends. Um, I highly recommend that if, if you found that you do enjoy Tunisian crochet, then I do highly suggest that you get a set of double-ended hooks. The most affordable option are these Knit Pal hooks. I would get the, the middle set, which is the hooks from the four millimeter to the six millimeter, because those are typically the sizes you're gonna see in most of the patterns. I would get that set. And then from there, it just depends what length of hook you want. I went for the 10 inch hooks, so I think that's a little bit easier for me to work with. I don't like really, really long hooks, so 10 inch was a good size for me. They do, however, have the 14 inch. So if you're gonna be working slightly larger projects, like you like slightly wider scarves or stuff like that, then I would get a, uh, a longer set. But that's what I would recommend. So I, I hope that helps. I hope I didn't make that too, too, too confusing. Our next question comes from Amber Trujillo and she would like to know why it is so difficult to get Tunisian hooks with the same size hook on both ends. I think the hooks that you may be looking at these ones right here. So when I first started to do double-ended crochet work, I was using these hooks. And as you can see, they are different sizes on each end. So that's how the entire set is. So these are Amazon hooks. Um, I did use these for some of my beginning projects and they, they work out just fine. Um, I had a, another question recently, which I'm gonna pop up on the screen here. And uh, like I told the gentleman, you can use these hooks. They, they will work okay. You just cannot work with a really tight tension because of this center part right here. It is a little bit wider than the rest of your hook. So you're gonna have to watch your tension just a little bit more and make sure that it's a little bit loose. Um, you will have to remember also what side you cast on with and what side you used as your return pass because it will make a difference. So if you put your your project down and you were casting on on the five and then you picked it up later and you forgot started casting on the six there's going to be a very visible difference in the size of your project as you can see here in this photo at uh, the beginning the front of the socks I think I made it with a larger hook than I did the heel end so you can see a bit of a size difference so just make sure that when you use these hooks if these are the only hooks that you have available to you that you jot down what side you cast on with and what side you've worked the return pass with. But you can find um, a lot more hooks now, I think, than, than you used to a few months ago. If not, go check out that Knit Pal shop. They do have them, and I think she ships worldwide. Um, if not, shoot her an email. It, you should have the contact information for Knit Pal on that Amazon page, but shoot her an email if you can't find them um, wherever wherever you're at and she might be able to ship them out to you. Um, but there we go. And then the last question I tend to get a lot in um, a lot of my beginner tutorials is what crochet hooks I recommend for beginning Tunisian crocheters. And I would say that this one, this is probably my favorite set out of all of my hooks is this Knit Pal set. I would definitely go with a bamboo set. They're a lot easier to work with. Um, if you file them down wherever it snags, that's a really, really easy fix. They're really soft on your hands and the hook size is just comfortable enough that you can see with a regular hook, it's comfortable enough that you can hold it, if, especially if you have experience with crochet, 
it's easy to hold, move, and you're not hitting everything. So this is the set I would recommend to anyone who's a beginner crocheter. Um, but yeah, I'll leave the links to all of these hooks down below. Uh, if you have any questions on about crochet hooks, uh, yarn, anything in general, just leave it down in the comment section below. I'm always happy to help. You can always shoot me an email too. Um, I'll leave the, the email address and the links to everything, including my Instagram, my online shop. All of that is going to be down in the description box below. Uh, but that's all I've got for you guys today. Thank you so, so much for watching. And before you go, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. If you'd like to see some more of my Tunisian work, I have an entire playlist on the main page of my channel. So I'll leave a link for that playlist down in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all again in the next video.